Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm putting together a quick video on Google Drive and how I use Google Drive. And uh, this video is meant to be a, a quick primer to let you know what is Google Drive, how do I use it, how do I organize things, um, what's the purpose, what does this all mean? So one of the things you got to think about is um, what's happening when we use a tool like Google Drive. So typically what would happen is we would sit down at our computer, we would work on a Word doc or a PowerPoint file, you know, that, that file would live on our computer. If we wanted to share that file with someone else, um, we would either email the file to them, we would email the Word doc to them, um, we could, uh, you know, upload that file to a classroom or a learning management system called an LMS um, and we would share that out with our students um, but pretty much you know we're raised to do work on our computers and those those files stay on that device um, what we've seen over the last decade is a move to cloud computing and that's basically putting our files on the cloud and that makes it a little bit easier to share with other people. So you see tools like Dropbox where I can take my that same Word doc and instead of saving it on my file, on my hard drive, on my computer, then I can save it in the cloud, people say. Um, and all that means is that the the instead of the hard drive on your computer, you're basically using the internet to save it on a hard drive that Dropbox owns or OneDrive owns or some other company owns. But basically that file exists someplace else and they set up a service so that we use the internet to connect with that file. And then you can share that file with other people um, and it makes it a little bit easier. This has all evolved a little bit more over the last five, six years where we move to services that are native to the cloud, which means that they operate solely or best in the cloud or online or, or through the internet. And examples of this are Google Docs, where uh, instead of me working on a, on a Microsoft Word file, instead of me, you know, opening up my laptop, or starting up Microsoft Word and, and writing up a Word document and emailing that out or sending out through Dropbox, what I would do is I would go to uh, a Google Doc which is basically a you know a, an online word uh, word processing you know uh, platform. I would work on that online, and then that document lives online. It starts online. It lives online. I don't just upload it from someplace else in some other uh, platform. So we see this evolution where we're act we're actively creating these texts online and they live online and then there's a lot of cool things that you can do with that and I have other videos talking about how I use those those tools and platforms and, and you can dig into those but what I want to do is just take a little bit of time and talk about Google Drive um, there are other tools there are other platforms there's other opportunities but this is one that I use a lot um, and it tends to be one that you know people are looking for guidance on so if I go in I search for Google Drive I'm going to come across this link here. Um, I can also, if I come here, I can say go to Google Drive. But typically when I'm at my computer, what I'll do is I'll just type in drive.google.com. So if I go to drive.google.com, it'll bring me to this uh, landing page. You can see that I'm signed out of both of my accounts. Um, you might not have any account listed there. And one of the things is the, the reason why it's asking you for an account is because it wants to make sure that it ensures privacy, security, um, make sure that people that have access to the documents, you know, they can get in and manipulate or view those documents. But then other people that don't have access, you don't want those people to see it. So you want this login screen so that they can make sure that you are who you say you are. So you can see that I have my own personal Gmail account. This is something that I've had. Um, for a, a little over a decade now, I use it for my YouTube account, I use it for my Google Docs and Google Drive, uh, I use it for a lot of different services. I also have an institutional account. So I, I'm currently employed at, the, at CFC, I have an account for CFC, um, you know, in my previous institution I had an account for there, um, but a lot of times people have in, an institutional account. One of the things to keep in mind is that these two are different. Google's looking at them as different spaces. So if someone shares something with my institutional address, but not my, you know, my personal Gmail account, 
it's not going to show up in my personal one. This annoys a lot of people. Um, but once again, this is just ensuring privacy and security um, and making sure that people that have access can get access and people that don't have access don't see those documents. Um, so typically what will happen is if you if you get something shared with like your institutional address, but you want to view it on your personal, you literally have to share it with yourself. Um, and, and I show it, it, you know, in other videos how to do that. So I'm going to log into my institutional account. So I log in and this is the main page. So I have drive.google.com. Um, typically I am logged in all of the time when I enter my classrooms, I'll pull up a browser window when I get started and I'll hit, you know, I'll type in drive.google.com and just get logged in. And this is a way for me to, in class, quickly pull up a PowerPoint or quickly pull up, you know, a Word doc or some sort of, you know, space that I want students to work and, and things that I want them to see. So if I go to drive.google.com, um, what you can see is uh, here is the, the branding for my institution. I have a search bar so I can search through and see the different types. But if I'm looking for something on uh, online reading comprehension, I probably have a ton of stuff in here on that. I can search and, and see a drop down bar of things that I have that relate to that. But then I can also hit search and it'll give me a list down below. What I can also do is uh, across from the search bar over here, I have this series of nine uh, dots or squares. And this is basically the other apps and tools and platforms that are in my Google account. So I can go to Google Sites or Calendar for my institution or Docs. So that's all there if you're looking for it. I have this notification bell. This previously was called Mr. Jingles. Um, so if you have questions about whether or not there's issues with uh, gender in the technology space, there's your answer. Um, I can see over here that I am logged in. So I can see I'm logged in. I'm not logged in with my personal account. I can sign out of these. I can add new accounts. Um, and a lot of times what I'll do is I will click over here and sort of switch accounts. If I'm in one, but that account doesn't have access and I want to quickly switch over, that's the easiest way to do that. So if I keep working my way down, I can uh, click on the new button. We'll come back to that uh, over here. I can sort my list or the view angle of all this. So different people have different ways they want to view their content. I'm going to get rid of this. No, nope, I want to go back there. I'm trying to get rid of the online reading comprehension. Um, then below that, I can see information, so I can click on a file. I don't really use that at all. I typically use this list approach of all of my materials. And then over here is your settings. Um, I don't really use that that often. I pretty much trust the way that Google has set this thing up. As we continue, if I click on my drive, I have pretty much all of the materials in my uh, Google Drive storage. I can see I have 17 gigs of storage used up so far. That's a lot. Um, and I'd also like to note that I don't really use my institutional account that often for Google Docs. My personal one, I have about 100 gigs or a little over 100 gigs of storage. Um, so this stuff builds up fast. So I have about 17 gigs. This is my drive. So everything that I have stored in my drive in Google online, the institutional account, is all there. And once again, this is the same thing that I would see if I went to my computer. So if I went to my computer and I went to, I'm on a Mac now. So if I went to Finder and I went over to my hard drive and I went into my documents, I don't really save anything on my computer on the documents. Everything is in the cloud, but it's pretty much the same thing. The stuff that I normally would save on my hard drive, all of that, is here in, in my drive. So I view this as my hard drive for my computer. Granted, it's in the cloud and I have to be connected to the internet to access it. So if I go to my drive, that's all there. Um, Team Drive, I've started to use Team Drive recently for a research project. Um, 
I don't really see the value of a team drive as opposed to a regular drive space um, or a folder. I'm big. I'm a, uh, I more or I, I use fol folders in Google Drive more often than I use a team drive. But some people uh, that I've worked with recently like that. Um, if someone shares a document with you, so I have a lot of students that send me work and it sort of gets lost in the system, I can go to shared with me and then see that document. So if I want to find this project here, um, so this is a PLC that I'm a part of. If I go to that, I can hit control or right click in a, on a PC and I can see, you know, all of the options. So I can open this, I can share it. Um, but if you see something that's shared with you and it gets lost, a lot of times what you can do is control click and add it to your drive. And all it's going to do is slide it over to this My Drive space. And then it'll be somewhere in here. And you can see My Drive is pretty messy right now. Uh, I need to go through and clean it up. I've just been teaching a lot and there's a lot of things all over the place right now at the end of the semester. Um, I don't use shared with me that often because I'm pretty much on top of where things are in my drive. What I use a lot is the recent space. Okay, so if I look through here, I can see a lot of different things that I've been working on or I just uploaded. Um, so if there's things that I, I've opened up in the last day or two, this all exists there. So I yesterday, two days ago, I uploaded a lot of stuff so you can see that it all lives there. If you need to get something quickly, you can star it. The way you star it is you go to a document and you uh, hit that control or right click and you can add a star or remove a star. What you can also do is if you go to the document itself, somewhere in here, somewhere in here it usually lists, I think it's because it's an Excel file, um, but they'll list the star. Um, but a, a star, basically I have one document and it's this one that I always want to make sure that I can find out of the 17 gigs of data. Finally, there's the trash. Um, nothing is really ever thrown out on Google Drive. So when I have students or colleagues that say, oh, well, it's gone. Not really, unless you actively go through and you delete your stuff in here. So if I hit empty trash, it's going to give me a warning and it's going to ask me two or three times to make sure that I really, really want to throw that stuff away. Um, so it's important to remember that nothing was really ever lost. It's probably over in your trash. So if I go into my drive, um, we've taken a little bit of tour. I hate this quick access bar. Um, I, I, t I think it just takes up a lot of screen real estate, but it might be of value to you. Um, but you can see as I, as I move my way down, I organize my stuff into folders. So I'll have a folder for, um, you know, just he everything here at CFC. And within that, I'll have my tenure folder. Um, I might also have, I have individual folders for my classes. Um, I have folders for research projects. So if I go to my research folder, I have individual folders set up for different research projects. And what you can see is if I go into the folder, the nice thing is I can create a folder and share the folder uh, with others. So if I have colleagues that I'm researching with, <coughs> excuse me, if I have colleagues I'm researching with, I can share that folder with them and they have access to the materials in the folder, but they don't have access to everything um, in my drive. So I can partition off or section off areas that I want to share with other people. So the last couple things we'll talk about here is how do you create new docs? How do you move materials in? How do you create folders? Um, so let's stick with folders for now. So if I go to this new button, I have new folder. I can upload files. I'll talk about that in a second. I can upload folders. I don't really do that. Um, but then I can create a new Google Doc, which many of you have seen and used. New Google Sheets, which is the version of Excel. Uh, Google Slides, which is basically their PowerPoint. I use all three of these all of the time. I don't use Microsoft Office ever. Um, I also have Google Forms, Maps, stuff like that. So I'm going to go into Folder, and I'm going to say Test Folder. So here's that new test folder that I created. Now you can see there's nothing in this folder right now. Um, I can go in and I can move materials over. So if I go to my drive, I can take this. Let's take this one here and I will move 
Actually, I don't want to mess with that one. I'm going to take this, who am I? Let's see if I can do this. So I'm going to go to that test folders over here, and here's my who am I, and I'm basically going to click and drag this thing over there. So now if I go to the test folder, I have this document for one of my classes. So this test folder, if I look at my drive, I can go in, I can see test folder. Here is that document there that I just added in. Um, if I click on this little drop down carrot, I can open this. Um, but really the only time I ever use this, you can change the color. I don't really find the need um, because it just changes the little tiny, this color of the folder here. What you can do is rename it. I use that all the time. Sometimes I'll remove if I'm reorganizing stuff. But most times what I'll do is I will either get a shareable link for the folder, which is also this link here, or I'll share it with others. So if I click on share, I ignore this initial box and I go to advanced. And from here, uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll change this. I can change the sharing settings. I have other videos on this. You can go check that out. Um, but what I'll also do is I will add you know, people to this. So if I want to add, let's see who's in this. This is my CFC, so I will send this to Nenid. So I can add this to Nenid, and now he has access to this folder and the materials in the folder. If I click on this, I can see he can organize, edit, and add, or just view. I'm going to let him edit. Um, I can add a message and say, hey, here's the doc, I, here's the folder I set up. And I can send this to him, and what he'll do is he'll get an email notification and a link to this folder so that he can access it. Um, and that's the way that you basically create a folder. If I want to get rid of that folder, I can go in and I can hit, uh, I'm going to move this back to my main folder. So I'm going to take this, move it back to my drive, and I'm going to go into my folder and delete this. And so it brings me back to my main screen. Okay, so that's all well and good. Um, one of the things to keep in mind about uh, files in Google Drive is as I showed you here, I have about 17 gigs of files. Um, Google and Google Drive, they don't count uh, use of Google Docs, Slides, Excel. So their, their tools, they don't count to your, those don't count against your storage. Um, so imagine once again, this is your hard drive. If you're using Google Docs, technically that doesn't take up space. But if you use a Word doc or a PDF file, um, if you use an Excel spreadsheet, if you use some other sort of file that's not theirs, that counts against your space. So what they're trying to do is basically force you to use their, their tools. So if I go in here to new and I go to Google Docs, and I have other videos on this, but I'll say test doc. What I can do is while I'm here, I can click this and it'll show all of my file folders in Google Drive. Or if I want to, I'll say test doc one. Because I know I have many test docs from doing this stuff all the time. All right, so I'll go in, I'll hit recent. Here's my test doc one. And then once again, I can move it wherever I'd like to. Okay, so I can move this thing around. I can add it to folders um, and pretty much put it wherever I need to. So as you create new content, it really is a good idea to use Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and I have other videos on those. I use those. Uh, I, I do not use Microsoft Office at all. I use Google Docs and Google Apps. Uh, I pretty much stick to that all the time, and, and I've made that case elsewhere, so you can go check it out. But for those of you that do not uh, use Google Drive and you have files that you want to upload, um, we're going to take a look at how you get stuff in. So on my desktop, I have a Word doc, I have a PDF, uh, and a PowerPoint file. And this is pretty normal. People have, you know, on their computer, they'll have these docs ready to go or these materials or files ready to go. A couple different ways to do it. Uh, one is the easiest way, and I don't really prefer this because you never know where you're going to put it, but the easiest way is you basically can drag the file in. Um, so if I'm looking at this PowerPoint file, I can basically share this over 
and it says drop files to upload them to my drive. I can do that if I want. Um, but what I would rather do is one of two things. I want to know where I'm adding the files to. So I'm going to go back in, create a new folder, and I'm going to say drop folder. And then if I go in and click on drop folder, now I can see nothing is there. I can, if I want to, I can add those folders. I can add those files in to this new folder that I set up. So I can click and drag in and it's going to upload this. And there's my PowerPoint file. Um, alternatively, I can go to new and I can file upload and I can go back to my desktop and I can find the documents I'm looking for and upload it that way. It tells me it's uploading. Um, and then last but not least, I have a PDF here. I'm going to add this PDF as well. So I had three files on my desktop, a Word doc, a PDF, a PowerPoint file. And this is pretty much standard for what people use. Um, same thing would, would, it would be the same case for an Excel file. So here I am in this you know, test folder. I have these three types of files in here, the same things that were up on my desktop. I can see that they have been uploaded and they're all green check marks, so I know that they're uh, there. I'm going to close this out. Um, now, the thing to, to remember is uh, Google Drive wants to use Google Apps. They want to use Google Docs, Google Slides, you know, ex, uh, their, their Google Sheets. They'll still let you view these other files, but they don't really like to do it. So I have other tools and extensions on my browser to allow me to do that. Um, but if I open this, what you're going to see is it, it won't look as nice as a Google Doc. So this, I have an extension, so it'll let me use um, Word, um, but it doesn't work the way I'd like it to. This PowerPoint, I mean this uh, PDF, if I open it, it will look like this. Um, so I'll have that bar, uh, that, that screen effect behind it. Uh, and last but not least, this PowerPoint file, if I open it up, I have an extension in Chrome that is going to open up Office files, but it doesn't work as well as it could. So the best case scenario is if you have a Word doc and you want to use it as a, as a Google doc or a PowerPoint file as a Google slide deck, if you want to change it over, Google makes it very easy. And then once again, it doesn't count against your storage. So if I click on this, I can hit control click. Um, and hit open with and then go to Google Docs okay I can also um, I can open this up and once again I have an extension that is is allowing me to open it but typically what I'll do is I'll go to file save as a Google Doc and and so here's the the way that this works this is why it, I prefer this so if I go to this and hit open open with Google Docs It didn't do it for me making me a liar so I go to save as Google Doc so it's going to convert my Word doc or my file to a Google Doc and now for somebody that uses Google Docs this is the 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 interface and the format that I'm used to so now all of the same information is there um, yes you're gonna see formatting issues and you're gonna to have to move things around and change things and tweak things to get them the way that you want them but it's basically taking those materials and, and changing it over. If I go back to that folder, you see now I have a Word doc and I have the same thing as a Google doc. What you might want to do is go in and clean it up and remove the old version um, and then leave the new one. Or alternatively, what I do is, because I'm a digital pack rat, sometimes what I'll do is I'll make a new folder within and call that archive. And so within, I have a series of nested folders in my drop folder. I have this archive folder. And instead of trashing it, I'll move it here so that people on my team, I'll say, look, here at the top level is all the stuff we're working on now. But then in this folder here, that's the stuff that we finished up on. So we're at the 24, 25 minute mark. Um, many of you have dropped off by now, but hopefully this was of value to you. Uh, Google Drive is a, a valuable tool in my uh, arsenal. Um, I use it all of the time. I have a personal account and um, you know my, my institutional address. I use Google Apps 
all of the time. I don't really use Microsoft Office at all now. Um, and in preparing for some uh, work, I realized that I haven't done, uh, I, I have not put together a, a good video. I don't know if this is good or not, but I haven't put together a video about how I use Google Drive and how to get around Google Drive. Um, there's far more uh, advanced use of Google Drive, but we can talk about that later. So hopefully this was of value to you. Really appreciate it. Have a great rest of the day. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get more of this. Um, give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me a, a comment or a question if I got something wrong. Uh, have a great day.